is Renee Romeo and today I'm reviewing the Roomba iRobot 805. So this is something from Costco that I got recently. We've been using it for about a month. Um, and let me just say that I have currently an in-house vacuum system. So all of my lines are in the walls and I love that vacuum system. But we currently have three cats, uh, two that we adopted from a shelter and one that showed up in our garage. So you can imagine with three animals roaming around the house, they're indoor cats, they produce a lot of fur all over the place. So one of the places that's been my main problem has been the floors because every day I'd have to pull out my hose, connect it, and vacuum things up. Uh, so I really thought that a Roomba system would be a great uh, compromise for what was going on with us. And, uh, and Finny, they love it. They, they just love this vacuum cleaner. So do I love it? That's the question. So one of the things, um, when you get the iRobot, it comes out of the box and basically it's in three pieces. So you have your actual Roomba robot system uh, and there's, that's what the bottom looks like. And then you have your charging station and you have some extra filters. So, um, so this has just gone off today and I'll show you what it picked up, uh, which is actually pretty good. So this is the area that you're going to pull out and open up and see what's inside. I'm sorry, but um, you kind of need to see this. So this is all of the fur that it picked up over the course of about an hour and five minutes. So I'm just going to empty that out into a waste paper basket. And I'll show you this. Now once a month, uh, according to the instructions, you're going to lift this up and you're going to clean out this little filter. So it's got a little tab on it and you can kind of see uh, there's a little bit of dust here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that off into my trash can as well and then replace it. So what this does, and I'll show you this, this in action in a little bit, I'm just going to go ahead and I'll reinsert this. So I'm going to flip it over for you now. So flipping it over, um, there are some things that you have to be aware of. So you can take these, these little rollers out. This is exactly what it rolls across the floor. It rotates and it picks up anything on the floor. And I have some hair uh, wrapped up in here. And so this is the issue with this. If you have fur or hair on, on the flooring, you just need to make sure that all of your areas uh, where they make contact are clean. So you're going to pull these out from time to time, and there's a monthly cleaning that you do um, with pulling out um, these rollers. It's very simple. It's, it's not a big deal. And you can also pull out the wheels and things and clean off this front wheel as well, and they just pop out. So this little brush here, this twists around, and this is what picks up your debris. And you'll see it um, after I show you how it's rotating around. And it's got four buttons on the top. So the four buttons on the top, one is marked uh, dock, which means that anytime during the operation of this machine, you can press dock and this will go back to its home base and go to sleep. Um, the other one is clock, the other one is schedule, and the other one is spot. So for the clock, um, you can press schedule and you can operate the clock up or down. Now for me, it's not quite as intuitive as a bedside clock, uh, which is real easy to, you know, in two minutes you, or, or less, you've got your alarm set. But this, it took me about 10 minutes to actually scroll through and kind of get my schedule as to when I wanted it to start every single day. So I have it every single day. You could do it every other day, every three days, whatever you like. Um, so that'll probably take a little bit of time for you to figure out. And it comes with the instruction book, so you can go through that as well. And then there's a, a a button here called spot and you can literally just set it down if you've spilled something it'll just rotate in that one area clean it up and then you can shut it off so it's it's really good at detecting where the dirt is and where it needs to go over time and time again um, so there are several uh, versions of this iRobot Roomba and this is the one um, that does not come with the ability to program it for your specific house. So this will basically just go around the house kind of haphazardly, um, you know, figuring out where it needs to go. And the really great thing about it is that even though it's covered um, by, I guess this is like a really smooth plastic, um, 
Don't, none of this ever comes in contact with any of your furnishings, so your feet around your, your chairs and table legs, um, they will not get scuffed by this machine. So I have mine housed underneath a piece of furniture so that you can't really see it uh, during the day or when it's not operating, and we'll see what it looks like when it comes to life on its own time. And here it is coming out. The cats are really interested in this thing and they watch it like a hawk. So this is the way it gets around furniture. And now again, this is not part of the schedule, but I'm just going to go ahead and press clean. Now it has that same alert when you have a schedule set for it. So let's just see here where it's going to go. And it'll go over carpeting and then onto the hardwood without missing a beat. Finny loves it. It's like a friend. So it can jump over different levels pretty easily and the cats really keep an eye on it, <laughs> so they're always around. Now, it goes directly underneath furniture. It'll get stuck under there for a little bit, but it will find its way back out. And here it comes. front of the docking station. I'm just going to press dock so you can see this. Well, it's been running for just over an hour and it's done a pretty good job. Uh, what I will say about the Roomba is I like it. This is a great supplemental vacuum cleaner to have in your arsenal. Uh, what it doesn't do because of its design is it doesn't get into the corners of any of the rooms that you have. Uh, the brush on it is only so long, it's not going to get all the way into the corner. So, um, you know, you really do need a regular vacuum cleaner. And the other thing is, is that the suction on this, I don't believe, is quite enough to really get a deep clean on carpeting. This system also comes with two virtual wall barriers. Now, depending on what way you flick the switch, either up or down, one being up actually uh, emits a beam that only the Roomba can see. It's not a laser, it's not anything that, a, that an animal will be damaged by. Um, but what it does is it protects staircases from the Roomba going downstairs or rooms that you don't want the Roomba to go in because you might have debris on the floor. Um, so if you flick it down, uh, the thing it'll do is it'll make a circle all the way around. So if you have pet bowls in a corner or something that you want permanently uh, to barricade from the Roomba, it'll create about an 18 inch uh, circle all the way around this little barrier. So it's a great thing and it, and it does work, you know, uh, it, it does a really good job. So. Um, does this really clean? Uh, it cleans really well. I think it's great for pet hair. I think it's a great thing if you're uh, out and about during the day and you don't have an opportunity to pull the vacuum out. If someone comes to the door, this will completely take care of your floors. They'll look beautiful and clean all the time. Um, but I don't think it's going to be the, the one thing that you're going to purchase for your home. You really do need a regular vacuum cleaner. Uh, I do think that the corners are going to be an issue over time. They're going to be dusty and dirty if you only rely on this system. So, uh, and staircases are really a problem because you could never clean a staircase with this, with this product. So you do need something supplemental for that. Uh, but I love mine. I think you'll love yours too. 
I'm giving this like an 8 or 9 out of 10 um, just because it doesn't clean the corners and look you don't have to think about it it just goes and oh by the way my husband says it's a little bit loud while it's running I, I don't think it's an issue um, I know vacuum cleaners are loud anyway this is a little quieter than regular vacuum cleaner so you can have it going on in the background and have it not bother you and it almost is kind of like a friend in the room. I know that sounds crazy, but it's just, it's cute. You talk to it, it you know, you're tripping over it, whatever, sometimes when it's in your way. Um, so I think it's great. I The cats love it. The cats, uh, Sully sits by, he, he can tell time now. He, he'll sit there 15 minutes before it's going to start. And uh, like I said, it's kind of like a friend. So is it worth the price tag? Um, I'm going to say yes. I think for $400 for you to just forget about vacuuming your house, maybe you only do it once a month now. I, I think that that's a great time saver. So for the $400, yes, I think it's worth it. Yes, I think you'll love it. I love mine. So that's my review of the iRobot Roomba, and uh, I hope you run out and get one. And uh, this is Renee Romeo. Thank you so much for watching this review, and I'll bring you another great product or not in the future. Thanks.